Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about AI. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, as a software engineer, what are some of the tasks that take up more of your time that and could be easily automated by an AI? Mm, it depends on the I would say it depends on the overall, it depends on the AI, but it also depends on the task that I'm dealing with. So an example would be that um, if you're working with a content heavy uh, application, a CMS or like a translation or anything like that. And especially if you have a lot of documentation or things that you have to write, that's fairly, fairly straightforward in some cases that can be automated with an AI. It's more difficult than that because the problem with AI is that, as I've said on many occasions, the, the, the thing that AIs do really, really well is that which is common. In other words, the thing, the sorts of problems that most people have had at some point but it gets increasingly more difficult for an AI to deal without you because you basically have to as I've said before guys some there was a guy there was a one of my uh, one of the juniors that I'm uh, that I work with was asking about can I get like can uh, we should try to make AIs write unit tests for us and I said you can absolutely do that but the problem with that is that the t you still have to tell the AI in essence how to go about testing all the cases because an AI will most will most of the time not be clever enough to figure out it might be able to figure out a small function but how the overall uh, component and all the different requirements and all the different things that were uh, that you have to know about in order to actually make sure that you covered all the cases it's a fairly difficult problem and it's a non-standard problem in many cases especially for more custom code and so forth it's the same thing with documentation where an AI will be able to help you maybe format the text uh, write it in a better way uh, it might even be if you're really lucky it might be able to write like a whole intro or something if it's something that is generic enough and doesn't require like heavy details that's fine and that will be possible to automate but and to a certain degree you can even get the AI to help you as I was saying if you give it feedback if you sit and work with it and you actually input like uh, relevant information you can get the AI to write the whole thing for you but that doesn't automate things for you you still have to do it, it just maybe speeds up the thing or helps you out if you don't really have a flair for content creation or documentation writing or things like that so I mean to me there's no there's no 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 universe there's no way in my opinion that we are not gonna end up with uh, a future of AI tools that basically as I see it already like you have companies now racing to create these a generic AI models and I am a hundred percent sure that the next generation of applications will be AI based and the next generation of uh, tooling that we software developer will need to master is to how to consume uh, generic APIs and train them on specific and they, they most likely become libraries for that as well and train them on domain specific information in essence what I like to say is that it's a little bit like uh, training a person where the companies uh, that provide you with the base model will provide you with a generic AI who knows how to understand human speech or human text etc etc and knows generic things about you know most things that they will need in order to just interact with a human and then you will train them the last 10% just as how you train a new employee in your company you will train them on the domain that you are dealing with so it doesn't really you know it can be support errands in your company or it can be coding in your code base so it can be documentation writing whatever right you teach it how to how that domain works and then it's going to be able to do the work uh, very efficiently. We're not there just yet, I would argue, but we're going to get there. And so when we get to that layer, that level, then you can automate quite a few things. And I would love to have that with an AI where it basically tells me where it knows enough about my code and not just a specific function, like the entire code base, to tell me that this is how your system is working. 
remember that you have to check A, B and C whenever you're doing whatever you're doing because that's, this is why I love linters for example, I'm a linter fanatic uh, I argue that static analysis of code and giving uh, like reminders to developers when they're doing their work is one of the most powerful ways to make sure that developers stay on track and like you use their creativity but you also accept that developers have to think about like a million things when they are developing software so thinking about all the ways that you can unit test something or all the ways that you have to remember like every time you change something you have to update your open API spec or your documentation or things like that to remember every single thing like that is a very troublesome thing and an AI can help out with that extremely well so what I want you to take away from this is that the things that take a lot of time for you as a software developer is usually things that uh, depending on the project now if you're not working in a project like that you don't really have that issue but usually it comes down to figuring out all the test cases, writing all those unit tests, uh, and especially content creation, doc keeping documentation up to date, etc, etc. Everything that has to do with content and maintain maintenance of just documentation and so forth is a fairly long and tedious process, especially if you have like a lot of it, uh, product documentation or things like that. And AIs are extremely good at these sorts of issues where you can save a lot of time if you can get it to sort of understand your domain and so forth. It's not the case that uh, many people ask me is it going to take over, it's going to take the coding away etc etc and I go not, uh, not anytime soon because as I've said when it comes to very specific problems where it comes to understand a very 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 Sh uh, fractured ecosystem which is the case with basically any development uh, workstation there is no company that I know of that has such a standard and simple setup that you can basically train the AI to understand all this new all the surrounding systems and all the processes and all the environments and so forth like you there's no way to just dilute that down and feed that into a system at this point it might come one day but it's not where it is right now and that keeps on changing it's such a dynamic ecosystem that's not something an AI will be able to help you with but very controlled tasks like as I said where like the, everything they need to the AI needs to know about the problem you can express in a single document or something like that that's very powerful for you that's something that can automate quite a bit of your work and something that I really look forward to my f like that's something that I am excited about I, I'm not sure if we are there just yet but I hope we're gonna get there really soon is security testing for example so something that you can do with an AI for example is to create if you give them in a specification an open API specification it can learn how to try to figure out different ways of interacting with say an API or something like that and help you understand if you have any holes in your security or your or your firewall or something like that just as it can help you figure out do you have any oversights in your unit testing here is a bunch it's almost pro it's almost a smarter version of property based testing if you know about that that's the sort of stuff that an AI can do really really well apart from just a regular content creation and so forth have a great day